Hey, it's Mr. D at In the Middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with some teaching tips for day three, lesson two, S cubed level two. Um, so today, uh, yesterday we did a lot of unison work, identifying unison on the page with the sight singing example. Um, and, and I started moving towards helping them understand what an exact unison looks like on the page versus an octave unison. And I'm using middle C to get there. Um, and then I turned the piano around, I showed them where it was on the piano, I played the note and made them sing it. These are the things that will help them start to put the puzzle pieces together. Um, so today we're continuing that work. Um, they'll have their written warm up, they'll play Forbidden Pattern today, which they didn't do yesterday. They'll do Follow the Hand, um, and I'll make them sing some true and perfect unisons um, during the game. And I'll use it as a distraction, sort of, and they'll think I am anyway, that's fine. And then I'll make them go octaves. I'll make the girls sing down with the boys a little bit. I'll make the girls, um, the boys sing up with the girls in their falsetto. Um, and the written warm up today, I'm going to have them draw a staff and to add, try to draw the treble clef. And I'll actually give them a, a help with how to do that after they try. Uh, and then they'll draw the middle C where it belongs because they learned where it was yesterday. And I'll have some kids come up to the board and maybe draw it for everybody once they've had a chance to do it. I'll do the same with the bass clef. And then I'm gonna ask questions about unisons uh, with that C and that you'll see that in the written warm up. And then they're going to go into a sight singing example. Again, we're keeping the sight singing example very simple. Um, I, with rhythm, quarter notes only, um, because I want nothing to cloud their ability to find pitch unison. So um, they're going to look through it, I'm going to have them find it, then they're going to practice it and sing it, and their, their main objective is, uh, well, to find the unisons, but also to listen for the unisons. And then I'm going to transfer that into my songs. Uh, that's where, this is where you really take the, the repertoire you've got, and um, make sure that you have pointed out some example, some when you're trying to teach the music. Um, eventually, I'm going to send them into a corner and have them sight sing it on their own, but I want to teach them some more about recognition and finding and listening in this early stage of the year when they're becoming a mixed choir. So as you know, I'm using Center Man, uh, Roger Emerson's uh, version, and I'm using Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child, Jerry Ulrich's version. And uh, I'm just going to constantly refer to those unisons. They have many examples of it in the songs. Um, and when you teach the two together, you get uh, everything you need to, to help them with the lessons I'm doing with level two right now. So I hope that's helping you. Have a great day.